Dear friends, my name is Kumar. I have started my YouTube channel on SAP Success Factor Technology. After subscribing my channel, come to my channel with the click on about. You would able to see the vision of my channel. And the, before the watching my videos, the kindly subscribe my channel, like it, share it, and the click on the bell icon for all upcoming videos. And the make sure that watch my complete video for better understanding of the topics. Let's start learning together. My name is Kumar. I am an MBA graduate having total 10 plus years of experience in SAP HCM with Peru. And since 2014, I am working for SAP Success Factor Cloud HR application. I plan to cover the core easy module. So later in coming videos, I will share the list of the topics which I'm going to cover on uh, no, uh, complete videos. This video is useful for end users, consultant, graduate and MBA graduate, also for BE graduate who would be interested to work in HR application. I'm going to cover step by step by configuration. So I'm not going to show any PPTs. So all the configuration uh, will be discussed based on the my real time scenarios and it's really helpful for the uh, who would be you know interested to work in HR application. So let's start discussing about the basic understanding of the product. This is an HR application. So you should use it for all HR uh, the process in day to day of in any of the organization. So this product works based on the URL. So we no need to install any software in our the local system. Also one important interesting thing is, so we are not going to write any coding in this application. So all the, the functionalities will be, uh, would be developed by SAP HCM. So we are just as a configurator. So we will take the business requirement and we will configure in the system. So let's know about what is the success factor. So before 2010, the success factor as a company, so later it is acquired by SAP. Since 2010, so completely this application handled by SAP. So this application useful for uh, all the HR activities in any of the organization, including hiring to termination, compensation module, variable, onboarding, recruitment. So like that we have some couple of modules in this product. So let's know about the modules in the success factor. So we have AC. This is the core module in the success factor. So we are calling as a employee center module. So we have onboarding. So we have onboarding one more and also onboarding two. So two is the latest version. If someone uh, would like uh, would like to take the certification and onboarding too. So prerequisite is employee central module. So as a consultant should be certified first in employee central module. So later they can only eligible to take the onboarding too. So we have something called compensation. Variable pay. Recruitment. So we are calling as an RC. So we, uh, we have uh, so PMG, succession, career development planning, planning, LMS, learning management system and job. So job is nothing but it's like a Facebook where we can uh, discuss within the organization about any of the social activities. So I am going to discuss only on the core EC module. So I'm not going to discuss on either time of either the benefits, either time sheet. Okay. So in success factor employee center model is one of the biggest module and it is one of the, the key module to run the business in any of the organization. So before going to discuss core employee center module, so we, let's have a discussion about the product. So in the success factor, we have two main things. So one is provisioning. Another one is the instance. So the provision is the backend application. Instance is the front end application.
as a consultant we'll be having the both the access however for the business people at the end user so we'll give the access only to the instance level so if you need the provisioning so we need to take the certification in any of the modules whether it could be a percentile module compensation either variable pay this so then only so we can map the instance to the our provisioning in, in, instance is nothing but a where we are developing all the business configuration so normally for any of the license the sap will give the three instance one is development instance preview another one is the production instance so normally development and the preview will be mapped in one provisioning however the preview will be having the separate provisioning okay so i hope that you got the basic uh, understanding between what is provisioning what is the instance so provisioning we just used to activate the some of the functionalities also used for to run the some of the jobs however most of the configuration we will do it in the instance level even i am a consultant so 95 percent of the the configuration will be done in the directly in this instance so provision is just applic as i already mentioned just we are using to activate the functionality as per the uh, business license and also based on the module we'll activate the some of the functionalities or the, the features okay so let's know some basic links where we will going to raise the provisioning access and where we will raise the sub sap support access and all those things so which i am going to show now is where we are going to raise the the provisioning access as well as where we are going to raise the client instance mapping to our the provisioning once you certify you will get the separate link for the provisioning so in the provisioning also it depends on the data centers okay so in sap we have something called dc10 dc12 dc8 it's so nothing but it's a servers okay as i already mentioned it's in a cloud application so based on the country or the region of where the project is implementing so based on that they will give the data centers so data centers 10 is normally allocated in the city okay and like that they are distributed in euro us and middle east okay so when you're raising the request we should know the client license whether they got for the license for dc10 dc12 dc8 so based on that so we need to raise the the provisioning request okay so once you log into the this thing scm cloud success factor so for this we should need the s user id so s user id once you get any of the service provider so you need to talk to your uh, uh, SAP team so they will initiate the yes user ID for you so using this user ID you need to get certified so later only you can able to log into this application okay so once you log into this application so if you go to the bottom so in the top we have operation request reference URLs demo instance even you would like to request for the demo so you can click on the demo instance request you will get it okay so you want to initiate for the provisioning so here you have the my provisioning account so here you need to raise the request selecting the data center that is the first activities so once you got that access so you need to map the instance the customer instance access request so if you see here so we have the customer instance access request okay so when you're raising the customer instance request you need to attach the approval mail by client that is if you are working any of the project and you should provide the approver email id also you need to attach your certification okay so in on the online they can check uh, no, uh, you, uh, they can check putting your uh, email id is yes is the they will come to know that whether you are certified as certified or not certified so once you complete these activities now you need to start 
once you started the project so you should know where you can download all the standard sap documents okay so later you'll come to know what is uh, data model what is pick list what is workbook all those things so just need to know the where we can download all those documents we have something called partner edge okay but even for this we need the ssr id once you log into the partner edge so you can go to the product so here we have something called sap scm uh, sorry women capital management so here we have the sap success factor nca scm so once you click on that so you will get the respective module in the success factor so if you once you click on that so this time it will take you to the so to the respective place here we have something called implement so under the implement you have the tools and assets so once you click on that so you will get these links okay so core hr we have something called employee center so here we have something called implementation administration guide the custom pick list kick off templates and configuration workbooks so configuration workbook means nothing but so what you are going to do the in the system so before that we should get the requirement from the client okay so all those things you are capturing in the configuration workbooks so sap is already delivered some of the standard workbooks for employee prof in, in ecb if i am talking about in employee central module so we have the time of work configuration benefit configuration workflow related uh, workbooks so where we have configuration workbook for the foundation object okay and also we are where we are going to configure the employee profile okay so all these configuration workbooks available under these things so under the configuration we could see so employee central master data models so we also we have something called employee central master pick list this is not sap standard so we can just download it and we can import it into the client instance the similarly we have the implementation if you would like to implement any of functionality like uh, loans and advances for that we have the implementation guide so referring to that document we can implement the functionalities so another important link is job so job is like something like a facebook but however we are posting all our day to day issues in these groups so when i started career in 2014 so job one of the most uh, useful link where we are uh, posted lot of issues and clarification so we used to get a lot of lot of response from the product engineer as well as who already come across, come across those issues so people are posting the solution for that but i am not sure nowadays the people are using uh, this link very much but still so you can check for any of the previous issues and i will come to know that so another latest uh, link is sap community so here we can post our new requirement so assume that xyz function is not available in the success factor so this is a forum where we can post the client requirement so that requirement will be analyzed by the product engineer so they will consider what is the requirement in the market so based on that they will analyze and they will come up with the uh, releases okay so again if you go little bit bottom but again for all the links we should require the s user ids so here we have something called product so here you can select the module called employee central module and when you posting any question so here system automatically gives some of the hints which is related to similar kind of issues so you can refer those issues if the solution is already provided so you no need to post that requirement if you could not if you didn't if you didn't get any solution then you can the post the requirement okay so another important uh, link is launchpad so launchpad is a sap tool where we are raising the support issues so for example if you are working for any of the development or the to your production so if you facing any of the application errors something like that so you can raise the request using this link okay so normally this will be normally given to the business people it means that for the client so whether you can take the user id user id and password from that client or the client has to request the access for you also so you can using your s user id also you can raise the ticket or you, we can use the the client user id and password okay so again here we have the priority like very high priority 
high, medium and low. So very high priority will be considered for the production issues like your system down. Okay, apart from that, so normally based on the business need, we need to go with either high, either the medium. Okay, but here also we will be getting lot of KBS. KBS nothing but knowledge base horticulture. If you are finding any issues for that issue, the CSAP is already provided the document. So referring to that document, we can fix the issues ourselves. But still, if you are facing the challenges, then you can go with SAP's ticket. Okay, so we have something called knowledge base. So you can select the knowledge base. You can in the beside to that field, that section, you can type the issues. So you'll get the uh, KBS. Okay, so these screens are normally keep on changing. Uh, uh, they won't change any function, but look and feel of the uh, links, they will change it. But normally, uh, these are the video uh, screenshot I have taken almost one year back. If I see now uh, support link, it's completely changed. But the output is same, input and output is same. Thank you for watching my videos. In case if you need any further information or clarification, reach out to me. Contact detail is available on the screen and also request you to subscribe my channel for upcoming videos and also don't forget to share in your circle.